Hey guys, uh, my name is Yasin Chakmak. I have been um, in the US for nine years and I left, but I am familiar with um, John and Hank Green's work for Project Rossum and I really appreciate what they do. I wanted to make a video of my own to support the project. Uh, my topic for Project Rossum is venomous snake conservation. Venomous snakes are a very important balance of nature and they should be kept there. They shouldn't be massacred and killed upon human will. Uh, they are there because uh, they have a role as many other animals and their main role as we understand is keeping rodent populations in a check. Rodents can be problematic if their numbers rise up to high levels. They can carry diseases like they did during the bubonic plague in Middle Ages. They can also damage uh, people's cr crops, which is um, extremely dangerous, especially in countries that uh, depend on those crops uh, to live. Um, for example, um, in Turkey, there was a massacre of venomous snakes on the north part of the country recently, and the rat populations jumped up next year to a level that they cannot be contained anymore, and they drop, they uh, harmed people crops, especially corn and they caused a lot of trouble. People had to react with pesticides which are chemicals and they create other problems so um, if the venomous snakes weren't pulled at the, fir at the first place there wouldn't be any issues. So instead of the uh, quite familiar saying a good snake is a dead snake I am saying that a good snake is a live and healthy snake. Also, uh, people usually kill venomous snakes because they are scared of them and they think they are out to get them. But this is not the case. Venomous snakes are not there to harm people. They usually escape instead of uh, fighting or they make their presence known to people or to other large animals to show that they are there and they don't want to be bothered with. Um, and also some people say that you know venomous snakes are in their property so they can be harmful to their kids or uh, their livestock. This is not the case. Venomous snakes are not in their property but humans are in venomous snakes property because they have been there way before we came and um, it's really important to understand that they were residents of any country that it, way before humans came to live there. So uh, there are ways to um, remove them without killing them. We can call um, animal control officers. They can come and remove the animals for us without killing them and release in a more appropriate place. Or we can even do it ourselves with a large bucket and a broom and we can just get the animal inside the bucket, close the lid very carefully and then leave the animal in a more appropriate place where there are less people. So even if this is your um, typical asp viper in your hiking pad in Switzerland or your um, Ottoman viper in your historical site in Turkey or your king cobra that comes to your stream to drink some water or your common rattlesnake that lives on your backyard, you should not kill the animal but you should remove it or get it removed without harming it so that nature's balance can be kept. Um, there's one way to help animal snakes and people at the same time and that is help funding snake bite projects. There's a uh, snake bite project in Papua New Guinea right now. Uh, in Papua New Guinea there are many animal snakes and people usually step on them with barefoot and get injured and as there's a snake bite project that right now works to help people by creating anti-venom. If snake bites can easily be cured, snakes will not be killed thinking that they're uh, lethal. So if we help the snake bite project, we are going to be helping snakes and people at the same time. Um, Al Koritz, aka Viper Keeper, is a very important person that's trying to help this project. He is very well known in YouTube and I'm gonna give his channel's link on the sidebar. Uh, you can contact him about this project and he accepts donations and he gives you a very uh, wonderful Venom Snakes video uh, in exchange which is awesome to watch. I'm gonna do that for this year's project for Awesome and you can 
reach L and do the same thing so that you can help people and venom snakes at the same time. Um, I thank you for your time. I thank you for attending Project for Awesome. Hopefully, um, people will understand that a good snake is a live and healthy snake. I will finish my video with a little footage of venom snakes, Aspidolabs lupricus coalesi. Hopefully, you'll enjoy that too. Have a good day. Thank you. This is another interesting snake I got at the show. And uh, this is today's latest, or uh, I should say, last video. Um, she is an Acidelaps lupricus coalesi, if I'm pronouncing that right, or um, African coral cobra. Uh, it's a fossorial species, they like to burrow. And she is a single female O8 for her right now, but I'll get a male for her soon. And she's a really, really cool snake. Um, and she likes to escape. <laughs> there she goes, there she goes. I'm not gonna let her though. I shouldn't, at least. She's not that terribly toxic. Um, even though she's a front fanged lapid snake. Front fanged lapid snake. Um, She's really cool looking with that uh, little uh, nose scale for borrowing. She hardly ever hoods, even though she has a narrow hood. But she doesn't want to show it to us, unfortunately. Um, and she likes to go. <laughs> As you can see, she's fast, like all lipids are. And she also fed yesterday, so I don't want to terribly stress her. But she is a cool looking specimen, really. Um, I like the banding on her. And she's gonna be awesome for a breeding project that I'm planning to start. Look at that. Awesome. Anyways, I will put her back. But here she is for you, and I'll shoot more videos of her soon. Bye, guys.